It is designed to be a centerpiece for Hilton Head Island, but there are questions about why the prime piece of property isn't being used for workforce housing instead. News 3's Andrew Davis went to town officials in search of answers. He joins us now live from the Low Country Newsroom with what they had to say. 103 acres, part of the former Planners Row golf course, now known as the Mid Island Track. The town wants to make it into something the mayor calls a visionary plan that will transform the area. But with a major workforce housing shortage, some question if the island needs that much green space. Opportunity for the community to come together and gather. There's an ecological area where there could be an eco heritage. Um, opportunity for education. There's an island heritage component that could be the future home of St. James Baptist Church. That is the design for the Mid-Island Tract. 103 acres that used to be the Planners Row Golf Course, now a town-owned area for nature and community. But some folks feel left out. The town floated an idea early on for 20 acres of that land to be used for workforce housing, a plan that Capital Project Manager Jennifer Ray says is no longer on the docket. We thought we may be able to solve part of that problem on our own. We cannot do housing on it because of the way we bought the property. You know, the town has an extensive land buying program, and we buy land with different sources of funds and different referendums, and that one did not allow us to put housing on that particular site. While the town still can't use that site for housing, officials say the park still could help with the shortage. There. So there's a larger piece of the island that would include the Northridge track, Northridge Plaza, Port Royal Plaza, down to Marshland. And in addition to planning for the park, we're planning for redevelopment strategies there. Looking at that whole mid island area as a redevelopment area and identifying opportunities for housing within the area, just not on that particular piece of property. Opportunities that Ray says the public wants and the town wants to make happen. So they've really fallen in love with the site, and it's central to the island. It's in a great location for everyone to come together. Now the council is expected to vote on the proposal, which some say could cost as much as $1 million an acre. The sound says no tax hikes, though, have been talked about to pay for it. Instead, they could create a TIF district, which would use a portion of the sales and property taxes around the area to cover the costs, and businesses could make that money back in the long run through attracting more tourists to the new beautiful area. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side.